Okay, looks like we are live in both places. Thank goodness we have two boxes of chicken broth here to hold two phones. Okay, put your hair. She's gonna go put her hair up the ponytail. Whoops! <laughs> okay, all right, so here's what we have going on, guys. We are doing um, a freezer meal cooking. I've got my charger plugged in on this phone, so it's kind of having, oh, I just got the notification that we were live. Okay, so um, we've got a viewer. So here's what we're doing. Um, we are, Alex has, Alex who helps me run Get Dinner on the Table and Crystal and Co. Um, she has, has put together this freezer meal assembly that we are doing. Okay, and hey Elizabeth, I see you watching. I see three other people watching too. I'm just gonna unplug that. Okay, um, so if you are from Get Dinner on the T if you are watching on Get Dinner on the Table, if you will go, hey Elizabeth, hey Kim, glad you guys are watching. If you will go to the Get Dinner on the Table page <laughs> and um, up in the document area, you will find the recipes that we are doing, okay? So here is, we've got it downloaded here on this computer, and I'm gonna tell you what we're making. We're gonna make lasagna, we're going to make crock pot pepper chicken, we're gonna make crock pot Tex Mix chicken and bean casserole, which has quinoa in it, and it's super, super good. We're making lime garlic chicken, and then we're making crock pot beef fajitas. If you want, you can make two of these at a time and have 10 meals, or you can just do the one and have five meals. Um, Crystal and Co. people, if you are not already following Get Dinner on the Table, if you will head over there now, I'm going to share a quick link so that we, so that it's easy for you to go follow them. And here we go. And that way you can follow us there. It is a private group that you request to join, and then we'll approve you real quick. And we just share lots of ideas and resources for helping you get dinner on the table. So Alex has four children in her home. Isaac is 14? 14. 14 down to an almost one-year-old who will be one at the end of this month. Actually, she doesn't get to have a birthday this year because she's a leap year baby. Right. So, <laughs> so she's going to stay a baby for another year. And then I have six children in my home ranging from 15 down to six months right now. So this... Freezer meal cooking makes life so much easier. And the first step to making it even easier, hey, Linda, how are you? You were watching our last video where we actually went and picked up our groceries. So I ordered everything online at walmart.com. I ordered it yesterday. Took me 20 minutes to place the order. And then today I went and picked it up and I have everything that I need to make these five meals. Or if I wanted to double it to make 10 meals. Oh, and roughly it costs about maybe... 50 to 60 bucks depending on your grocery store for these five meals. Yes, this was very, um, very inexpensive. I think that I spent, because I bought a little more chicken, or a little more of some things and my roast was a little bit bigger, I spent about, it was about 80 for me. Um, it was 60 for me. 60 for you, mm -hmm. okay. So, there you have it. This is totally, totally affordable. Okay, let me get you the link for you Crystal and Coors. If you will request to be in this group, then you can go over there. I'm going to do the Facebook Live Assembly on both pages, but you've got to go over to the Get Dinner on the Table page to get your, um, to download the file that has your grocery list and the recipe instructions and all of that. Okay, look at us. We're looking at ourselves here. We're like stuck in a frame. <laughs> okay, so here is... This is the group you want to join for the shopping, Oops, not shipping, shopping list. So there's the Get Dinner on the Table page. And we, with us, we also have Luke. Luke is our big helper today, right? Yeah, he's like, whatever. I just came <laughs> along for the, for the Hershey bar. <laughs> That's really all he wanted. Okay, so number one, let me show you guys. I already showed the Get Dinner on the Table, folks. Let me reverse this camera. So here is everything that we have. We did all of our shopping. Aside from the meat. Asi here's everything aside from the meat. So Alex did a lot of chopping. Here is my meat for the lasagna, which I did. It calls for either or hamburger or um, Italian meat. I did a pound of both just because I kind of need to, that's what I'm talking about, like doing a little bit more 
um, because my family's a little bit bigger. So then we have all of our assembly stuff here, and I think that's it. That's everything that we need for this. Okay, so I've already shown you guys. All right, whoops, let me turn that back around. Okie dokie. So let's get started here. The very first meal that we're going to put together is the lasagna. You want to start with the lasagna? Is that mm -hmm. okay? So one thing that we did do is we bought oven ready, um, we bought oven ready noodles like this so that we can just stick it in here and pop it in the oven. And then we're going to use these trays. You can use a glass tray if you want. Either one is totally fine. Okay. And then we've got, where's our sauces? I have it all right here. Okay. Perfect. So I like to do a little bit of sauce on bottom right. first. Keeps the noodles from sticking. Yes. Sauce in the bottom. Yes. So we're just gonna put all this in here. Where's a hop on over, Lukey? What do you a need? Spoon. Right here. Oh, perfect. See, Alex is so organized. Here. Do you want me to? Luke, do you want to show some of this? Do you want to be our other cameraman? You can turn it around. Luke's gonna be our second cameraman. If y'all have any questions at all, you can certainly let us know here. We are happy to answer them. Um, we are hoping this should take us definitely, I think we can get this done in 30 to 40 minutes. What do you think? Definitely. Okay. Then I do a layer of noodles. These are the oven readies. They are, um, they're thin and they literally cook while this is cooking. So if you've ever wondered what those look like. Okie dokie. Now we're gonna put on some meat. Where's your cheese? <laughs> My cheese, I think it's over on the table. Okay. I'll let you run and get that. Okay. Let me run and get that. Okie dokie, let me go get the cheese. There's a huge bag of it there on the table if you just want to grab it. I found it. I want to show them this too. I want to talk about these when we do the tortilla or the fajitas because I just love those. Can I grab the wrong piece or the right piece? Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. The yeah, the connection seems to be leaking, even though we have it connected to the hot spot. That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And don't forget your parsley. Oh, we gotta have parsley. How many of you guys put parsley? I mean, it's kind of a either or. Yeah. Depends on your liking. I'm just gonna do it like this. You think that's okay? Mm-hmm. So the only thing we made ahead here was the meat. The hamburger meat. Um, this is hamburger and Italian mixed together. With the onion that the recipe calls for, so... You know, meat's done in 10 minutes, and then you could totally assemble this in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. We're just going to see how quickly Crystal can work. This is a game. <laughs> this, is, this is a challenge here. Parsley, yum. Okay. And then, whoops, and then we are ready for, I do, do you think I should do sauce? I do a little bit more sauce you and then put the noodles sauce? on top. Okay. That's the way that I do it, but, you know. Alex is the to each his own. Whatever you want. pro. She lived in Italy. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much of a joke. <laughs> she lived it's in little Italy. Italy in my kitchen right now. Yeah, right, right. Okay, so then we will do another layer of these. I just love these shells. These work really well in the crock pot too. Really, really well. Actually, I'm gonna put one up. Yay, there's 27 people watching right now. Yay, everybody, tell me, guys, what are, this doesn't have to be perfect, clearly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are your biggest, no, we're not going to put that one in there. That was on the floor. What are your biggest pain points for, um, for dinner time? We are all busy. We all have a thousand things going on. We're pulled in a hundred different directions. Um, what are your pain points? What makes it hard? For dinner time, like, are you forgetting to lay your dinner out? Is it the grocery shopping that is difficult? Is it, you Is know, it all of the above? Is it all of the above? Is it <laughs> planning? What is your biggest struggle, Alex, with meal planning? Well, for this past week, it was just me manning four kids and practices and tutoring and after school and all of that. So, 
A, setting something out in time so that I'm not cooking dinner at 9 o'clock. Uh -huh. um, sometimes it's cooking something that everybody's going to like mm -hmm. because all of my kids are different. Mm -hmm. And then also I don't want to stand in the kitchen for an hour cooking over my yes. oven or my stove because it, that just to me is a pain. Torture. So. Agree. Um, Lisa says, forgot, forget to take out of the freezer. Definitely. Yeah. That probably times a hundred for me because it, it truly does happen. Even though I'm here at home and Crystal, you can probably say that too. Oh, sure. Absolutely. So one of my favorite solutions for that, and you can share your favorite ideas too. I have a couple of things because I'm notorious for that. It's two o'clock and I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't laid anything out. Jackie's coming for dinner too, by Jackie the way. Jackie is coming for dinner. Jackie who? Is it Jackie <laughs> Jack Mitchell? Jackie Carpenter. Jackie Carpenter, my cousin. Oh, well, we're not cooking this tonight, honey. You'll have to come a different night, but my kids do miss you. Okay, so um, one of the things... Now, if you wanted to, this ricotta, my husband is going to die if he sees this video and sees that I didn't... Um, he likes to take an egg and mix it in with this so that it's creamy, so that it goes in really, really well. They owned a pizza place when he was growing up, and, you know, he's he's been to Italy, he thinks. So that's an option as well. Joanne says that she works too many hours, and there's not enough time to cook decent meals, and she's alone, so it's easier to just make something quick. But she loves cooking and always has. So a freezer meal would be would probably be too. ideal for you and if you love cooking then doing all this prepping ahead of time you're going to enjoy that find a buddy find someone who will do it with you who will be your accountability partner or if you don't want that then just do it yourself by yourself but um yeah you know you will enjoy this process of putting everything together because for some people this is the part that they don't like is the assembly part or the actual cooking part but for those of you who have issues like me with forgetting to, to lay something out. This is our last layer here of this. And this will be enough to feed my whole family too. And we'll serve bread and salad with it. Um, if, if that is the case, go on. We'll share a link in just a bit. You can find them on Amazon. It's called a thaw board. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. Do you have one? Did you no, ever buy one? I, I didn't. I've had one since like 1999. Since the year I became a mom. I've had one for a long time. And I love it. So it will defrost. If you forget and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it's something that you want to cook in the oven or on the stove top, you just put this little metal fall board down. It's no chemicals, no nothing. It's dishwasher safe. I run mine through the dishwasher all the time. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese here. And then I'm doing this a little different because I used up all my ricotta. Um, it literally, a pound of hamburger meat or five or six chicken breasts can be defrosted in no time. But the other thing that I love is that I can um, pretty much, even if it's frozen, you can throw it in the slow cooker. I cook stuff frozen in the slow cooker. Um, or you can even do it in the Instant Pot. You can cook frozen chicken breasts in the Instant Pot in like 25 minutes. Seriously easy. So <clears throat> those are options as well. Don't be afraid to cook stuff if it's a little bit frozen or a lot of it frozen. Do you have any suggestions? No. No? You're touching on everything. So, Linda says that she has a hard time deciding on what to make with what she has to work with. Water. Okay. So, are you a person who likes to... Did you throw the lids away? Mm-hmm. That's okay. Do you want some more sauce? I have more. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a sauce shortage. She likes a lot of sauce with her <laughs> lasagna, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to get every little bit of this out of here. Um, it's a little watery, but that's okay. Um, so are you like trying to do pantry challenges where you only cook what's in your pantry? Is it a budget? Um, is it a budget concern or like, what is your biggest struggle with that? You cook on a very strict budget. So like how much are you right now? How much are you spending a month on groceries? Ooh. Um, it just depends on the week. Yeah. Ideally, um, my husband lives a little bit in denial um, <laughs> because he thinks that our family of six should have a $300 grocery budget, which um, to me is not feasible at all. Not even if I shop at the, at the um, cheapest grocery store ever. 
Becky says, why don't you just mix the ricotta and the meat together? Definitely another idea yeah, that we could totally we could have done that ahead of time. We started a little bit late. Good, good point, Becky. Good looking out. I like that idea. I'm using your foil, is that okay? Oh yeah, it's good. What? Uh oh. Trying to reconnect. Let's give it a minute. So, um, for me, I think that if you have challenges with dinner, period, you have to start with a meal plan. Mm -hmm. There's no ifs, ands, or buts on making, uh -huh. being able to stay on a schedule and not eat out without having a meal plan. Right. And it's going to take some time. You have to sit down and totally decide what you want. And sometimes I just ask my kids, <coughs> name one thing you want to eat this week, or I'll ask my husband... And as long as it's not something like fried chicken, which mm -hmm. I have no time mm -hmm. to make. Yes. Um, so know your limits. Understand, like, that is so true. And identify what is a recipe deal breaker and what makes you love a recipe. That is totally a great place to start. Because um, if you are, if you know that during the week you can't cook something that, um, requires lots of babysitting, you can't make fried chicken on a Tuesday night. You just can't do that. So you have to know, you're totally right. You have to know those limitations and what makes a meal a great meal right. for you. Right. So, okay, the next one that we're going to do is the crock pot red pepper chicken. So let mm -hmm. me grab, this calls for um, breasts. So we're going to grab chicken breasts. our chicken breasts here. Chicken creeps me out. I got to do this over here and it's going to, I am. Um, you know, I just worry about salmonella. Okay, so let me show you these guys. If Don't mind that cup with the... Here, let's get this cup out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've been painting. So these are um, little bag holders that you can get on Amazon. We'll come back and share a link to them. I love them. Each time Alex and I have done meal planning together, or freezer meal planning together, we have used, I bring these. I love them. They hold the bag perfectly so that you can um, Put everything get everything in there, in there with... And, and have both of your hands free. Would you like okay. some tongs for your chicken? Oh, um, well, I've already touched it. Okay. So then... So I'm going to actually add more chicken to this. I ordered the wrong size chicken. So let me wash my hands before I turn into a pumpkin. I'm truly afraid of salmonella. Okay. So I will add um, probably two more chicken breasts to that. I ordered the wrong one online, my mistake. Okay, so we're gonna add in the red bell pepper that we've already sliced right, right here. At. Okay, and it gets onion too, right? So we've sliced up our onion and our red bell pepper. So this is just chicken, peppers, and onions. I am gonna serve this, I was gonna serve it over rice um, but it said that it had a great suggestion to serve it over a salad. I like that idea. Yeah. How are you going to do it? Um, probably the same. Where's our garlic? Fridge? Yeah, probably on salad or with quinoa or in a tortilla with cheese. Like that's super easy for kids. They may not mm -hmm. eat the bell pepper. I have one, two kit, two of my boys will eat. And garlic. Bell pepper and um, the other one will not. Can you put the names of the freezer stuff you're talking about? Freezer plate and bag holders. Yes, we, we will, will at the end. Over mashed potatoes would be great. Ooh, good that idea. Sounds that nice. sounds really good. Okay, we're going to eyeball this. We're looking for a fourth of a cup of olive oil. Oh. You think that was more? No, you're good. She's got a good eye, I guess. I've, I'm perfect because I used to be a sous chef. Right. Um, you have salt and pepper. Okay. And there's some measuring spoons right there. Now, do you really measure this? I do not. I mean, you know, to your liking, I you suppose. You just can't. Who has time for measuring? Luke, does mommy cook good meals all the time? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying maybe. We're going to be here all day if we do it that way. What kid is going to say that we actually know what we're doing when we cook? So when we... Being that we have a bunch of kids and Alex has a bunch of kids, the thing that you run into is what Alex was saying earlier, where everybody has a different taste. So I am not a short order cook, though. I can't be. I absolutely cannot be. So um, if you don't like corn, you got to pick it out. 
Now, I'm not trying to ruin your life, you know. Like, I'm not trying to go out of my way to give you stuff that you hate. But if you don't like tomatoes, you got to pick that out. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So this is done. This is the crock pot red pepper chicken. We're going to throw this in the crock pot. Lots of great ideas. Some would serve this over salad. Some would serve it over mashed rice, potatoes. mashed potatoes. I love all of those ideas. I do like to just mix my stuff up like this. And then I get all the air out and you can freeze it flat. So I get all the air out. And then I just kind of flatten it back out. Is that how so you do that, it? yep, that works for freezer space too. Yep. I mean, these are no brainers when it comes to like freezer cooking, and except that most of us don't really think about that kind of thing. So. Right. And this is excellent for the instant pot. You could cook this in the instant pot frozen mm -hmm. in 25 minutes um, or like 18, 15 to 18 minutes with it not being frozen. Sounds this good. Would cook super fast. You would just need to add some liquid to it. So like a cup of water. And Chicken broth. To go. Chicken broth. I love that. Okay. okay I'm going to put that there. Our next, next one. Next one is, this is the Crock-Pot Tex-Mex chicken and bean casserole. And I am shocked. I've never cooked quinoa in the, in the pressure or in the um, crock pot, but Alex says that it's amazing. It is actually very good. You said mm -hmm. it's great. It okay. is. Mm -hmm. Well then, that's what we're going to do. This one, you don't have chicken. Um, her chicken was not defrosted. <laughs> uh, do you think I should use thighs? You could use thighs if you want. This one calls for chicken breast. Um, one and a half pounds of chicken breast. If you are more of a thigh person, of course you could use that. Okay. Um, you think thighs I would do the. Mm -hmm. Are they skinless? Yes, boneless skinless. Yeah, I would do the boneless skinless just because you don't have to be picking out the bones or the skin either. Okay. So let me. I'm going to do these thighs here. And your handy little freezer bag holder is yeah. holding up great. Oh, it's amazing. Can I throw this in there? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Use okay, the sink so as a trash can. I love that. So we're going to do two clo two things of garlic. Listen, guys, this is the best thing ever. Buy it already jarred and cut And up. she eats it out of the jar, apparently, because she <laughs> likes garlic, if you can't tell. <laughs> My family loves garlic. Okay, a 12-ounce can of corn. I just buy the frozen stuff. And what is this? 12 ounces. Perfect. Okay, we're going to have a delicious little casserole Don't here. Don't forget your quinoa. Okay. Get all this out. Oh, I did not dice the jalapeno. Yes, you did. Did the jalapeno? Did I? Yes, I did it for okay. you. What does this go in? Um, I thought that went in this. Right? I'm not sure. We have an extra okay. can of... Um, so we're going to do a cup and a half of quinoa. So let me find... Cup, and I got parsley in all of this. Okay, so here's a cup. And you really just cooked this in the crock pot. I've yeah, never yeah, yeah. Cooked in the crock pot. Yes, so I've actually made something similar to this without the beans. And it, they called it in uh, crock pot chicken enchilada casserole. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, except the beans. And it's really good. Really good. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna extend this meal. By adding, um, I got these. These came in my delivery at Walmart. I'm using uh, black beans, and we've drained them. And I put two in, and that will help extend this meal even more for my big family. Okay. And what else do we have? A can of enchilada sauce. Mm -hmm. You could use red or green, whichever, I you know, green would be good too. whichever you like. I'm going to use green in mine just because I like green. The diced bell peppers, which here are, we did some green and some orange. Luke is our photographer over here. There we go. And we're going to do the jalapeno. I'm only going to do about half of the jalapeno. Yeah, sounds good. You got good. the seeds mm -hmm. out. Here's um, your cumin. Okay. I'm afraid that people at my house will feel like it's... Lisa cumin. said laugh out loud wow and I'm pretty sure that she's talking about your garlic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong one. Listen guys, just eyeball it. Like, that's about right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was chicken, quinoa, garlic, corn, bell pepper, jalapeno, black beans, cumin, and then our cheese will go in later, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, when we bake it, and then the can of enchilada sauce. So, seriously, three dinners done, and how far are we in? Like, this is so easy. And if She said yes, she was talking about your garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. If, if this doesn't, um, this is a big bag, so I'm just going to get the air out, and then... I just kind of push it down and squish it and 
I do want to get all that hair off though. And we're good to go. And then of course just thaw this one out and toss it in your crock pot. Yep. Or your Instapot if you're an Instapot lover too. Yep, you could do either or. And just remember anything that you can cook in the oven, you can cook in your crock pot or Instant Pot. Definitely in your crock pot. Okay, this is the lime garlic chicken. We're gonna take our chicken, some more chicken thighs here. Thank you. <laughs> Alex is not afraid of salmonella. <laughs> We're gonna do four tablespoons of fresh lime. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going in here. This also calls for a cup and a half of chicken broth. I am not going to add that right now because I don't think I will. I don't know, I'll think about it. I just hate to make it too big, like too, you know, where it, Yeah. We'll it blo sometimes it bloats the bag, um, or it seems like the bag gets really expanded, of course, because liquid expands when it freezes. Mm -hmm. So we did soup a while back, and the bag kind of erupted in the freezer. Yeah. Um, and it didn't even seem like there was that much in there. So you could just wait and add it later whenever you dump it in your crock pot. Sounds like a plan for me. Okay, so I'm doing this lime juice. Um, we're gonna do some garlic, of course, and some butter, and some salt and pepper. Was that four? I think that's four. Did I bring your butter over here? I don't think so. No nope. butters. Here we go with our garlic. Again, she garlic keeps- doesn't last long at my house. My husband- Her pantry it. is stocked with minced garlic, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. We need two, um, a half a teaspoon of thyme. So let me wash this off. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to freak out about germs. And here we go. We're just going to add some delicious thyme. Because what did you say earlier, Alex? All we have is thyme. All we have is thyme. Time, um, time, time. If you've never used thyme before, it's pretty easy. The way that crystals like pulling it off the stem yep, do it backwards. and you can find it usually over in the produce section. There's like a little herb area where they have like basil and, and, and such and usually a dollar. Yeah. S this was like 78 cents or something or a dollar. So, or and you it's could very totally good. Totally use, I'm throwing that in the trash yep. sink. Trash sink. Trash sink. Woo -woo. Okay. What else do we have going in here? The butter. Did we get the butter? Butter's over there. Okay. Forgot to bring it over here. Sorry. Okay. This is interesting that this has butter and lime in it together. Have you ever tried this recipe before? I personally have not, okay. but I... Is this one from your sister? No. No. Okay, I'm going to use my sous chef knife here. One, two. Two tablespoons. That was a big knife, huh? And then pepper to taste. So we're going to open this. I like to taste about that much. Okay. <laughs> so we got it. Breasts or thighs, lime juice, chicken broth, a cup and a half. Maybe I could add that. What do you think? Yeah, you probably could. Okay. See, one thing you will learn about me is I change my mind a lot. So a cup and a half. But if this was a soup, you probably wouldn't yeah. want to, I mean, right. anything past about the halfway mark on one of these freezer bags isn't going to hold up yeah. very well in your freezer. Yeah. When I do, when we do um, like taco soup, yeah, for sure. I just hold that in my pantry. But now I've got to make sure I still have three fourths of a thing of chicken stock here. So, I, or chicken broth. So I want to be sure that I use it up within like seven days. Okay. So again, I'm going to get all the air out. We are at four meals. We have one meal left to make. This will be great in the pressure cooker. Okay. And that will be good. I want to show you these really quick. I have been buying, there's a couple of different brands that make these. Luke, can you see these? These are ready to cook tortillas. So I get these, Walmart carries them. Um, they, they are, they're not cooked yet. And they are so, so delicious. There's another brand that starts with a G that makes them as well. And you literally, they cook in like 60 seconds. This has 20 in here. So this is a way to get homemade tasting flour tortillas. And I just put them on a griddle while, while my stuff is cooking those last five or 10 minutes. And they puff up. They're just like having them homemade. It is so, so yummy. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to make is our 
Beef fajitas. Beef fajitas. And this is using a roast that has the um, fat trimmed off. So we're, I mean, I bought one that... Melissa, are they super thick or thinner like H-E-Bs? No, they are thin. Um, You've done them before, right? Yeah, I've done them before. They actually are really thin, and then they get fluffy, and they are totally fresh whenever you... Um, Cook them, and it only takes a couple seconds on each side. Yeah, for so real. they're Especially really good. First day with my uh, pot roast here. Okay, so I love the idea that you found a fajita recipe that uses roast because this is going to make some super tender and delicious fajitas. Okay, and you could trim that fat off the bottom of the shoulder if that kind of eats you out. Um, it's just whatever you think. I don't want to touch your door. Here, let me have that trash sink and stuff. Okay. So this is what's going to go in here. We have our two pound roast. I did a little bit bigger than two pounds. We have our bell peppers and our onions here, which we already sliced up. We're going to add that in here. Again, I got all of my groceries today at walmart.com. I ordered them online yesterday afternoon, and they were ready for me to pick up after church. I just ordered the things that I need needed. I had a few of these things already in my pantry or refrigerator, like my garlic and some of my seasonings. Um, and then we were good to go. Easy peasy. Okay. So there's all that. Now we got to add my favorite garlic. And you know, she's not shy on the garlic. Garlic just makes everything better. I pretty much came with an almost full container. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we have good breath. She in said that's a beef okay. chuck roast. It is a boneless beef chuck shoulder roast. Oh, yes. That is right. Okay. Um, oh, here. Let's plug it in. Do you have a. Is there a. Yeah, There's just... a plug over there. I think Lisa's really getting a kick out of your garlic because she's laughing again. Um, I, you, we love it. Ask my husband. Yeah. Lisa, what's Lisa's last name? Believe me, no vampires are coming to her house because <laughs> she is all about the garlic. Oh, my goodness. Definitely. Okay. So, interestingly enough, this one calls for a tablespoon of honey and then juice from one lime. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you'll add your chili powder. Cumin and paprika. Cumin and paprika. Actually, did this call? Yeah, it does call for chili powder. So we're going to do one tablespoon of chili powder and two teaspoons of cumin and then some paprika and some red pepper flakes. There's that. That should be good. And here is, so we've got a tablespoon. I'll add a little bit more. I'm so accurate. Um, and our cumin, whoops, we need two, two teaspoons of cumin. And it's so easy. Have you guys ever made your own homemade, we're going to do a little bit more. Well, not that much. Have you ever made homemade taco seasoning? It is seriously cumin. Chili powder. Chili powder. Paprika. Yeah, like it Garlic. Is, oh, that was paprika that I added? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I sure did add a lot of it. <laughs> I thought that was... <laughs> Chili powder. Yeah. She says to eyeball it, Melissa. That's the way that she measures. But if you want the, um, the total measurements, they're over and get dinner on the table in the document that's at the top. Right. Under the files section, you can find the full grocery list and the breakdown of how to create these on your own time yes. if you're not doing it now. And boom, we are El Dono. We just made five meals. So this would do excellent. This is a great option for the Instant Pot. Um, or just pop it in a slow cooker and cook it all day long. And then shred, you know, shred it up with two forks whenever you, yep. um, there you go. get it all done. Yep. So we've got, perfect. literally, you want to come over here and show them all this, Luke? We have, this was, this is our crock pot, um, fajitas, our garlic lime chicken, our, um, black bean. And chicken casserole. Chicken quinoa. And then what was that bottom one? That one is red pepper chicken on red the bottom. Red pepper chicken. And then and we then have a lasagna. Here's our lasagna. 
Literally, how long did that take us? 25 minutes? Mm, yep. Maybe 30 minutes? 35 minutes, maybe. 35 minutes. Super, super easy. So we have the list for you. Make sure that you go to get dinner on the table, ask to join, we'll get you approved. We shared a link if you're watching from Crystal and Co. We shared a link to that over in, um, in the comments. Request to join that group. Alex runs that page for me and she shares dinner ideas. <laughs> she shares dinner ideas every single day over there. And she shares different resources and ideas and solutions to make dinner time easier for you. We will also share the link to these. I got these on Amazon. I got like six of them for, it was under 20 bucks. You saw how easy that made. You can just have them all lined up, boom, 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 and you're good to go. We'll share the thaw board with you. I'll share my favorite Instant Pot, my favorite Crock Pot. We'll share all of that. All of this makes dinner so easy. Don't forget um, that you can also use walmart.com to get your grocery shopping done because it just makes grocery shopping so much easier. I ordered all of my groceries in 20 minutes, 25 minutes yesterday. So super, super easy. Anything you want to add? Any wisdom? No. I have no wisdom for anyone. Here's what Alex said before we went live. You're doing all the talking, right? I said, oh, yeah. So I am not a talker. Thank you, ladies and little gentlemen. <laughs> little Thanks, gentlemen. Joanne. This is my Lukey. His, he and his twin brother just had their 11th birthday on Friday. So how does it feel to be 11? Pretty amazing. He says, right. thumbs up. So, okay. There We're going to do this again, hopefully, in two more weeks. Tell if us what your biggest dinner pain points are. We want to know how we can help you get dinner on the table. Seriously, we want to help you get dinner on the table. Or if you have a favorite freezer meal that you want to share, uh, mm -hmm. something that's working for you, that would be great. Yep, absolutely. Okay, guys, y'all have an awesome rest of your Sunday. I have chili powder all over my hands. We will see you guys over on the web. Bye. Thanks.